This is a replication of a linear magnetic motor that was designed by YouTube user PMMG4 Hybrid. It's based on a Howard Johnson linear magnetic motor patent from 1979. This design has also been replicated by YouTube user ScorchGD. Scorch did such a nice job on his replication that it inspired me to do this one. Uh, line the uh, cart up here in the magnetic field. Let it go. If you manage to align the car just right in the magnetic flux, it will actually hold itself in place. Then with the slightest touch, it takes right off. Now I always have my own questions in regards to tracks like this that are rarely directly answered in people's videos. I'll touch on some of those questions and answer them after a quick explanation of what you're actually looking at here. Now, one of the major differences in my design from the uh, original that PMMG4 Hybrid did is I followed the same thing that uh, Scorch GD did. I used HO gauge train track and wheels. Now, the wheels are all either brass or plastic, nothing magnetic. It'll screw up the entire thing if you use metals that are magnetic on your cart. The HO track is just glued down to a uh, yardstick I picked up from Home Depot. They tend to do a lot better job of shaping and smoothing out their yardsticks than they do of the pieces of wood that you buy there. And it's cheaper. These cheap ceramic magnets that I put this together with you can pick up at Home Depot as well. I actually ordered mine from an online supplier because you can get them a lot cheaper in bulk. You can pick up these magnets at uh, Radio Shack. I also ordered those in bulk online. The metal I used for the shielding on the bottom, you can pick this up at Home Depot. This just makes the uh, south sides of the magnets focus into the metal and keeps a balance with the magnetic field so that the uh, the cart goes down properly and doesn't cog up. Here's the amount of ceramic magnets it takes to build one of these. There's uh, 52 of the large and 24 of the small. If you do them half the size of these it would actually be 12 of these. This is a dual configuration version. I've got two of the banana shaped magnets like Howard Johnson used. You also have to add quite a bit of weights to keep it from bouncing off the track because it increases the strength of the magnetic field. Also raising the track up slightly will uh, decrease on the drag and make the cart go through a bit smoother. That's what I've done here, and then you can decrease some of the weight and it'll loop it out. Whatever you do, don't use aluminum track or you will encounter eddy currents.
Now I always have my own kind of questions about this. One being, what is the level of repulsion at the entrance to the gate? As you can see, there is some repulsion. It brings you out to about this distance. Once you overcome that, and line it up in the magnetic field of flux, it takes right off. The other thing I always wonder about is whether you could restart the cart at various places in the track and still get it to go through. As you see, you cannot. It has to be started from the entrance. Here is the exact dimensions of the ceramic magnets used for the linear track. This is the basic placement of the track magnets. All of the magnets are facing north toward the cart magnet. Each pair of magnets is spaced slightly closer together until there is barely a gap. Section 1 has a pulse gate with north poles facing the cart magnet from every direction. Section 2 is unique. It has a series of magnets half the length of the rest of the track magnets. Section 3 simply has three offset magnets on top of the others. There are three sections of six pairs to the track. Well, that's all the time I have for now. Stay tuned next time for part two where I will answer the questions, can you link tracks together for continuous motion or looped rotational movement? Can you use different types of magnets for the cart other than just banana shaped magnets? I'll also explain how a basic Howard Johnson linear motor works. In the meantime, here's the links to check out PMMG4 Hybrid's original version of this design and Scorch GD's replication. Thanks for watching.